What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2022 Topps Chrome Ben Baller Edition just sold out. This is a 12 box case break. Picatines number 13. And uh, here we go, guys. Another case down. Brandon gave the Blue Jays. Last ball mojo. <laughs> Alright guys, so just like all the other ones, I'm going to rip open the first six and then we're going to go through the boxes and then we'll open the next six. Oh, yeah, Tristan. I'll have to do it after this break. Sorry, man. I forgot. What a goal by Campe. Go check it out, guys. Who, who passed that? Was that Kopitar? It was a little alley-oop. Oh, no. That was Byfield. Oh, man. What a pass by Byfield. You know, Byfield's not... Scoring a lot of goals, but he's getting a lot of assists and he's getting a lot of quality chances. I never said that, Grizzlebees. <laughs> I don't know where you heard that from.
All right, two more boxes, guys, and then we'll go through them. For all sports racks or just another hockey product? Another hockey product, a little peachy platinum. And I'm more of a colors guy, so, you know, Prism and all those kind of products. Don't get me wrong, Panini One, Dynasty, all those products are really nice for all those sports, but. I like uh, colors. Get me a rainbow. Yeah, see, I just, I saw a peachy platinum. I did used to love ice hockey when they created that, but that's long gone now. Alright, there we go. First six. Here we go. Cruz. Jed Lowry. To 99. We got a Harrison Bader. To 75. And Gary Cole. To 50.
Bobby Dalbeck to 99. Ooh, nice Jose Abreu for the White Sox. James with that one. That's numbered five out of five. Nice and low number. And a Julio Gold, 40 of 50. I'd assume they do, Steve, but you probably have to start getting numbered ones after a while. I mean, because, you know, it's just going to start saturating the market because they're just common, so they're not numbered. So, I'm sure the, I'm sure the, the numbered ones probably do. And I wouldn't be shocked to see if like one of those Julios is like still like twenty twenty five dollars. Is it worth is it worth more? Somebody should look it up now. now I'm curious. I'd say they're at least like twenty twenty five bucks. But if they're under that, it's probably because it's been a while since it's been out already. Robbie Grossman. I mean, I could probably see it being like a ten dollar card. Drew Ellis. And that's probably just for the rookies too, I'd assume. That stay a little, a little more expensive. The writing low, but what about the die cuts though? Steven Strasburg to 10. I was figuring that it wouldn't shock me if these are still like twenty, twenty-five dollars for like a base of like to say Julio, just because they're not numbered. But I mean, it could be a lot cheaper. It wouldn't surprise me either. Showtime, fifty-two out of ninety-nine. That one's nice there for the Angels going to Tristan. The die cut base is like thirty to forty. That's pretty good still, actually. Yeah, it would look. It would be cool if you did the rainbow. Yeah, Wainwright, Lazardo. Yeah, exactly. I feel like the numbered cards obviously would sell for a lot more. With Merrifield to 25. And another Jose Abreu, this time numbered to 99, 87 edition. Trevor Story to 75. All right, and it looks like Joe Christian did sell out the Cup Hockey. So, Cup Hockey is going to be the last break, guys. Number six. So, for anything else that sells out, uh, we'll break tomorrow.
Alright, here we go. Let's continue on, guys. Mike Trout base. Another Wander Franco. Brandon Crawford. We got Justin Verlander for Houston to 99. And Acuna Jr. to 50. Alright, next box. So no autographs yet, guys. Julio base. And Sunny Gray. To 25. Zach Short. To 99. Little Chris and Yelich to fifty. We have a Nick Castellanos to seventy five. And Tails Gar Hernandez to fifty. Jonathan India to ninety nine. All right, two more boxes here, and then we'll go to the next six. Wander Franco. We have a John Gray, that's a green to 99 for the Texas Rangers, going to Chris Perrin to 99. And then we got a Shohei Otani. With a Curtis Terry, and how about a little Aaron Judge to 25 die cut. Walter. What's up, Walt? Walt with the Yankees. I'm really surprised that Aaron Judge didn't have autographs in this. You would have figured that he would have he would have had an autograph in this. Neil Cruz. Nelson Cruz. To twenty five. Anthony Rendon. And Garrett Cole. And a Bobby Wood Jr. to 99. Julio. All right, still nothing yet. Some nice like insert colors though, right? Just nothing rookie wise when it comes to the base, short print or an autograph yet. Color, 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 uh, gold, red. I feel like something nice is hiding in here. I think we're gonna end it off strong.
All right. Alex Verdugo to seventy five, Michael Brantley to ten. There's our first short print. Nice Mike Trout. 80 out of 99. Mustakas. Out of 99. Stuart Fairchild, gold for the Diamondbacks, going to Steven to 15. New you know, Cruz die cut. New you know, Cruz base. All right, let's go with the next half, guys. I know, this kind of case feels like there's like a super in here, you know? May not be the biggest player, but there's definitely one. Redemption of this Wander Franco. I, I've seen, I think, Trout's a redemption in this. Otani's well, live, I know that for sure. Bobby Witt. Is it just Wander Trout? I feel like I don't think I've hit a Bobby Witt. To move and move it.
Super Rainbow. First of all, I've never heard of that, Jimmy. But no, you would probably have to do regular Chrome. You have to do like how many different variations of Topps Chrome were there? It was a lot. What well, isn't there like also like Cosmic? If you think about it, actually Cosmic probably wouldn't count. Uh, what's the other one? Sonic, Topps Chrome. I mean, you'd have to you'd have to do everything. I mean, there's probably retail colors that you'd have to get. There's, there's, there's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> no, but seriously, there's a lot, though. Like, the way they made Top Chrome this year, there's a lot. Because you have the Ray Waves, probably, and Sonic... And then all those other variation colors, you'd probably have to go retail-wise because they probably have a specific colors in retail. Um, yeah, there's a lot. It's, it's, like, it's just like Prism, right? I mean, think about it. Like Prism, right? You have Hobby. Then you'll have uh, Prism No Huddle, right? Something like that. Then you'll have, you know, Mega Box and then this colors and that colors. And it just it gets, it gets to be nuts. Well, I think if you want to do just Chrome, if you want to do, like, every single card of, like, Series 1, Series 2, then yeah, probably. But we're talking, I think, just Chrome. But for sure, Topps Chrome. Whatever other other versions of Topps Chrome they have that have different color variations, right? Uh, you can throw in Ben Baller in here now. I know Sonic was one of them. I don't know if I'll be able to throw in... Cosmic. I don't remember if the cards look exactly the same. But yeah, it'd be basically anything 2022 Top Chrome. Almost. Nah, but that, that, that's going different, Terry. <laughs> We're talking strictly just Topps Chrome, not anything that has Chrome. <laughs> Basically, whatever Louis Gill looks exactly like this. That's, 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 that's getting too nuts. Because when you put it in a rainbow, it's going to look exactly the same. They're just going to be different colors. Yeah, if you want to call it like that, yeah. Just like you would mosaic, prism, optic, same thing. What other variation colors they have are the same ones. But I feel like usually when you do that, obviously you're, you're very committed to doing it, right? Because, you know, you want to do the, your favorite player or whatever. But I feel like for most people, to end up chasing a whole rainbow for a specific set is probably because, you know, most likely you already hit, like, some of the hardest cards. And you're just like, well, I might as well just go after these cards now. I mean, I'll show you guys one guy. I'll shout him out. The Eagles card fanatic. I, I, I sold him a couple of my mosaics already. I did end up selling him my one on one McNabb mosaic. So I haven't sold him my Miles Sanders, but I told him whenever I do sell it, I'll sell it to him because he's creating the whole set. But that dude's. I'll show you a cool ass one right now. That dude's mosaic is awesome, dude. So sick. I, like, feel bad because I don't want to give him my Miles Sanders one, but obviously, you know, I love it. Check this guy out. 
This is his wall of mosaic. Eagles. Only eagles. Only eagles. And then he has the autographs. He has everything. Very special day. From, from the base to the one of ones. <laughs> this guy's put in a lot of work. He's basically only missing like the one of ones now. He he basically has like everything, and then he cracks everything too. <coughs> That's goals right there. Even if I had the space to do that, but yeah, he he has like every single card. That that is insane. <laughs> he has like every variation of twenty twenty mosaic. <coughs> He's missing basically the one of one. So like for his Miles Sanders mosaic, I have I have his one of one. <laughs> I already told him though that I'd sell it to him if I ever did sell it. So he knows that. But I sold him my McNabb one like six months ago. I just I figured I'd just sell it to him. But he ba he's basically just missing all the one of ones now. Like he's missing like two Jalen Hurt one of ones. So of course those are pricey. You know, but yeah, he's basically just missing a lot of them. A lot of one-on-ones by at this point. He basically did every single Eagles player from Mosaic Football in 2020. And then he even started doing, like, 2021 Collegiate Mosaic for, like, Devontae Smith. Which I think he basically finished, too. And I don't know if he continued on doing, like, Jordan Davis and, like, N'Kobe Dean. But basically his chase was to complete the whole 2020 Mosaic set. But he has quite a few one on ones. He has from like Mosaic Hobby Black. Uh, he has, like I said, Disco Black. He has the Nebula one on one. You know, all that stuff. Well, that's the one thing. Like I told him, I was like, "Bro, like if if I didn't love Miles Sanders and McNabb, because I I was I was trying to do a rainbow, you know, I I basically I got those two cards first, and then I really wanted to do a rainbow myself, and I almost have it. I think I was just missing like I was missing the pink fluorescent of ten. Uh, I was missing like you know a black gold of each one, but I basically almost had all the McNabs and all the Miles Sanders, but I would never be able to finish it because he has the other Miles Sanders black and he has the Donovan McNabb blacks. So I would never be able to finish it. But, you know, I, I did pretty good. So then that's another main reason why I ended up selling him the McNabb. Because I'm like, ah, I give up. But I just, I, I love Miles Sanders a lot, so I still haven't sold him that one. Basically, he was doing all 2020. He has, like, all the one-on-ones for Carson Wentz. He has all of them for Deshaun Jackson. <laughs> yeah, basically. Anything 2020. He posts it up on a lot of card pages on Facebook, too, when he, like, gets a new card, just to let people know. He just needs 14 one ones to go the last time he put it up. 14 one ones But yeah, at that point, I just, I told him, like, look, Small Sanders will be yours one day. <laughs> just not now.
You bought the RGB uh, cut auto out of luminaries, Dilo. That's awesome. Did I read that wrong? D'Lo said, I, I gotta post this cut auto I got. Most he's ever spent on a single car, so he already bought it. <laughs> I know which one you're talking about, D'Lo. We were talking about, I think, when Luminaires came out. There was one of those in there. That's sick. Awesome, dude. Dun, dun. I'm a, I gotta. You post it on Instagram, dude. I gotta follow you on Instagram. I'll follow you on my card pitch. All right, guys. Last six boxes here. Here we go. So remember guys, I am just doing the cup hockey guys and then that's it for us folks. So if anything else sells out, it will be breaking uh, tomorrow with Joe. So just remember that guys. I know people are still placing orders and stuff, but that stuff will break tomorrow. J-Rod and then Jose Abreu. To 25. Blake Snell. To 75. Showtime. Number to seventy five. Tailscar Hernandez to seventy five. Keep Brian Hayes. Uh, if it's sold out after Cup Hockey, no, it's gonna break tomorrow. Cup Hockey is the last one for tonight. Guardians, Tristan. There you go. 33 out of 50. So there's our first auto. I feel like there's just no way that Jose Ramirez is the only auto we get out of here, right? I mean, <laughs> there's got to be more than that. To 99.
Willie Castro. Jose Ramirez is like one of the most underrated players, right? <laughs> so sad, dude. If he was playing on any other team. To 10, Mike Yastrzemski for the Giants. Joey Votto. Evan Longoria. All right, four more boxes to go. Come to Freddy. We have Charlie Blackman. Jesus Lazardo to fifty. Juan Soto base. Ooh, there's a Bobby Witt. Man, I haven't hit a Bobby Witt sharpen in so long. Nice one. Who has a rose? Tristan. There you go, buddy. Drew Ellis. Fire away, Aaron. Gilbert to 99. Nolan Arenado to 15. Same those Cardinals with that one. Rob. Desperado. Jazz Chisholm. Got to thank my parents for that, man. You know? If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be this Waple. Kepler. And a J-Rod. That's a nicely centered one, too, actually. Yeah, yeah Alan and Ginter did the... Uh, I remember one year they did, like, the Tooth of a Maglo uh, Megalodon. <laughs> yeah, they did, didn't they do, like, um... They had a piece of, like, someone's hair one time. Who was it? I forget which one it was. Ooh, I don't know. It's on the color. I thought that was a red color. Showtime to 75. Real full Castro.
All right, well, this case hasn't really lived up to the last case we did, but we have started to get some nice stuff, though. Let's see how, how we can end it off with the last two. We did hit one auto already, hoping for that second one, but there's no guarantee of that. Josh Lowe. To 99. Wow, we got the Ben Baller auto. <laughs> so there was a second autograph, but it's going to be Ben Baller. So everybody has a shot at this, guys. That is 7 out of 25. This is where getting those $20 teams actually, you know, was worth it. Gives you a chance. I, I just had a feeling they were going to just give us, like, uh, just Jose Ramirez, you know? Out of 50. Bobby Witt. And a red George Springer. Blue Jays going to Brandon. That's last spot mojo. Nice. Ozzy Albies. Jake Cronenworth. 1099. Alrighty, guys. Last box. Hunter Green die cut. Max Scherzer. To 75. Nice O'Neill Cruz. With a Wander Franco right behind it. What a great double pack right there. 24 to 75. So that is Rays, Rob, Pirates, it's Tristan. That's the first time I've actually seen two real good players, like, back-to-back -back colors. Usually, they're kind of just whatever. Andre Jackson to 50. Mookie. Justin Turner. Andrew McCutcheon. Dilo with the Phillies. Alrighty, guys. And there you go. That was it. So it ended up being pretty solid, guys. Little Neil Cruz. Wander Franco. Color Otani out of five. Springer. Julio over short print. Bobby Witt, short print, Jose Ramirez, auto, Julio Base, short print, Trout Green, Green, Bobby Witt, Aaron Judge, Shohei Otani, Gold, Red. And, of course, we ended up getting a second auto, which is Ben Baller. Everybody gets a shot, guys. We'll randomize the teams, and number one gets it. So let's see what team is the winner, guys. What team is going to come out on top? Roll. Three and a one four times. Good luck, guys. One, two, three, four. Four times, four times. Ben Baller's going to go to the 
Los Angeles Angels, which is Tristan. Congrats, buddy. There you go, man. Awesome. So I'll post up another case in the store right now, guys. Jaspiescasebreaks.com.